What's Gucci, Folsom High? It's Thursday, September 13th, and I'm Diego. And I'm Trinity. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the Bulletin. The news, weather, and sports are coming up. But for now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's the news. Forestry Club is holding its first meeting this coming Monday after school in C-103. The main focus of the club is a three-day field trip. Students who attend are eligible for one unit of college credit. If you're interested in a career in the forest, like forest management, biologists, logging operations, or wildfire mit mitigation, this can be a really good learning slash networking opportunity. For more information, see Ms. Johnston and C103. And if you want more information about any clubs here on campus, check out the FHS Club Hub on the Student Activities page on the FHS website. The Rotary Club of Folsom is currently recruiting for its annual Rotary Youth Exchange Program. RYE is a fantastic opportunity for a Folsom High School student to have an adventure of a lifetime as they explore a new country, learn or further their abilities to speak a different language, increases their intellectual awareness and sensitivity, and meet new people who often become lifelong friends. Participating students spend the next academic school year, 2023 to, the, to 2024, in another country where they live with one or more host families and study at a local high school. The deadline for the initial application is Thursday, October 20th, so do not procrastinate. Students must be between the ages of 15 and a half and 18 and a half years of age by, by next August 2023. For more information, check the local, R, local RYE website at www.ryef5180.org. In college news, today during a lunch, a representative from Carnegie Mellon University will be in the quad to answer your questions and distribute information. And during B lunch today, Dartmouth College will be in the quad. Come by to check out possible schools. Check the career and college webpage or see Mrs. Cedars from the counseling office for more information on upcoming college visits. It feels like fall has well fallen. But is the cooler weather here to stay? Is it time for sweaters and pumpkin lattes? Check it. Let's check in with Myella and the Weather Center to find out. Good morning, Bulldogs. The weather is indeed finally cooling down this week. If you look at the seven-day forecast, you'll see that it's going to be in the 80s today and tomorrow and then drop down to the 70s this weekend. And whoa, what is this? A chance of rain on Sunday and Monday? That should be helpful to the firefighters out there. Hopefully there won't be any lightning along with the rain. Our high today should be about 72. It's 82 with a low of 58 overnight. That's below our regular average temps for this time of year, but we needed the break from the heat. Looking here at the big map, we've got temperatures in the low 80s and 70s all around us, and the mountains are cooling off too. Just look at these temps from the Lake Tahoe area. They'll have 70s today and then all the way down to the 50s with the rain coming early next week. It'll warm back up a little after that, but it really does look like fall is here, at least for now. That's it for the Bulldog Weather Report. Back to you guys. Thanks, Maella. Let's go now to sports. Congrats again to Folsom senior Nathan Short, who was the winner of the Varsity Boys 3400 meter Division I race at this week's huge Josh Ruff Invitational. Because of that, he has been nominated for the Miles Split Athlete of the Week. Please go to this link, scroll down, and vote for him. tinyurl.com slash vote for Nathan Short. He has about 40% of the vote as of this morning. Let's put him over the top. Congrats, Nathan, and good luck. The freshman football teams play at home this evening against Pittsburgh. Kickoff is at 5.30 in the stadium. Come out to cheer on your freshman boys. Other sports are away this week, including girls tennis and volleyball, who are away at Rockland today. And the JV and varsity football teams are away at Pittsburgh tomorrow. See FolsomAthletics.com for games, times, and details. And girls volleyball is off to a great start this year. After a good run in playoffs last year, the Bulldogs have been working hard to prepare for the soon approaching SFL league competition. They are currently 8-0 in non-league and tournament play. They have defeated Nevada Union, Mira Loma, Lodi, Broadshaw Christian, El Dorado, El Camino, Placer, and Vista del Lago. They also just won the Folsom Bulldog Bash tournament, facing off against 16 other teams. Their first league match of the season is today at Rockland. Then on Saturday, they will travel to the Chris Craft Tournament at Oak Ridge. Thanks to Doug Guller for the action photos. Way to go, Bulldogs, and good luck. And that's the news for today, Bulldogs. Enjoy the cooler weather.
Come out to support the freshman football team tonight. Let's make it a great day to be a Bulldog.